I like to think I was hardworking. I like to think I made the best decisions based on the, the, the information at hand and what was available. Assistant Chief Brian Jackson is retiring from the Lincoln Police Department this spring after nearly 40 years in law enforcement. The relationships he's built within the department, the community, and the profession are the backbone to his success, even as policing has changed significantly in the last four decades. It's not the events, it's the people. I've had the, the luxury or the good fortune to work with great people. Leaving LPD is bittersweet for AC Jackson. In 2019, he decided to drop, putting a finite five years on his career. Shortly after, the department faced multiple challenges. 2020 with COVID, which certainly caused uh, worldwide concerns. Uh, we had the riots, which caused national concerns. We had an officer death, which caused internal concerns, uh, as it should. 2020 was a very long year, but we do this for a purpose, and the purpose uh, in my eyes is right, and so you stick to it and come out the other side, and we're all better for it. Jackson knew from an early age that public service was his purpose. I'd like to think people come to this profession for, for a reason, and law enforcement was, was that outlet that I found best represented what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. Jackson started his career with the Hastings Police Department as a reserve officer and patrolman before being hired at LPD in 1987. He was promoted to sergeant in 1995 and captain in 2005. Role models in his life inspired his climb up the ranks, from his father, who served as a reserve deputy and in the military, to the mentors who guided him professionally during field training and beyond. And the people I worked for always demonstrated a high moral value, a hard work ethic, and it's just set the tone of the type of work I wanted to do and how I, I went about things. That work ethic led to the office of assistant chief in 2011. That same year, he was elected second vice president of the Police Officers Association of Nebraska, eventually serving as its president from 2013 to 2014. He's now the organization's historian, allowing him to connect with agencies all over the state. Nebraska is full of quality law enforcement officers, and that's a testament to, you know, our schools, our moral values, um, the support we get, and uh, we're not unique in having quality, uh, high-end people. Those people make investigating tough cases and overcoming professional challenges worth it. Without question, there are bad days, but uh, the, the number of good days certainly will exceed the bad days and again and the value you see provides purpose behind what you do and keeps you coming every day. As time has passed, law enforcement training, techniques, tools and technology have all evolved. Information is at our fingertips now more than ever and I think we use it uh, to help us keep the community safe. I think that's what makes it work in, in, in Lincoln is that we don't work in a vacuum, we don't work in silos, we work in conjunction in partnership, it all makes it worthwhile. Those relationships are the foundation of the department. He's leaving in the strong and capable hands of the next generation. To some degree, I think legacies are better defined by the people who follow. At the end of the day and the end of an illustrious career, Jackson hopes his leadership evokes one simple ideal. If you do your job right, you make that difference in every contact you, you have. And people remember you for your compassion.